President Fike Punyepohamba had a tight schedule this week, receiving various guests and diplomats at State House. The first was the Chinese ambassador to Namibia, who went there to discuss various issues about the two countries' bilateral relations. One of these issues was the official opening of a $65 million defense academy at Okahanja, which was constructed with the help of the Chinese government. In the future, I think that uh, academy will train military soldiers, even the uh, officials. And I was told that maybe some of the uh, of military officials from Sadak region, they will come to Namibia to take a training course here. President Pohamba also held talks with Celestine Tundaya Kasende, a special envoy of the President of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Speaking through an interpreter, Yakasende said his mission was to discuss security issues between the two countries. First, uh, it is uh, about the cooperation in uh, security in the DRC. You know that we, having, we are sharing uh, good uh, cooperation in this sector. And the second one is uh, about the economical ties between the two countries, as we are sharing very good uh, ties in this uh, economic sector. The delegation was accompanied by Francine Muyunda, a graduate of the University of Namibia who now works in the DRC's National Youth Forum. A delegation of the National Union of Namibian Workers, NUNW, led by its acting general secretary, Job Muniaro, also went to see the president, but details of their meeting were not revealed, as they were described as very sensitive. Donatene Shidudu, NBC News, State House.